We talk about the radical right. So how would you define them? How do you characterize them? Because they say they're Christians. You still say you're kind of a Christian. How do you differentiate them from you? I've, I've always thought of them as fundamentalists rather than, rather than being Christian at all. Fundamentalism, you know, militant piety. Uh, someone called it orthodoxy gone cultic. Um, fundamentalism in Christianity is the same kind of fundamentalism in Islam. And it's, I think, is dangerous, if not more dangerous to this country. When the Bible is seen as inerrant, it's held up as an idol. And anything that threatens the Bible or their understanding of the Bible threatens their faith. So the truth, discussion about the history of the word and of the 66 books and how they were inspired, but also informed by their, none of that works anymore. So they just say the Bible, I, it was, you know, it was good enough for Jesus. It was good enough for me. And I'm telling you, um, I gave up discussing the Bible with these people, for example, on homosexuality, because they're not interested. First, fundamentalists are not interested in hearing what anybody else has to say. <clears throat> and so, you know, if you're in a world where nobody's interested in what you have to say, why would you keep talking to them? I mean, I've, I've turned down so many interviews because I just don't want to be harassed again by people who don't listen. Um, I, I believe that I know Jesus as well as I ever did, maybe better because of the pressure we've been under lately. And I feel like Jesus, I walk with Jesus every day. I, f I feel like I talk with Jesus when I'm, when I'm walking on the beach. I, I imagine, and prayer is a lot of imagination. And I, I, I talk to Jesus when I walk. But then I hear these guys talking about Jesus, and I say, I don't want anything to do with that Jesus. Your Jesus is an idol, and I reject him entirely.